Hey yo, Noctis here. Playing Dangarabba to Grabby Havoc. We're about to go meet Alter Ego again. Hey Toko. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say too? I, I already heard it with Master. With Master? <laughs> you don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? Shut up! Stop bothering me! Get out of the way! We have to talk to your alter ego! No! I mean, Master, promise! A promise? Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. What are you, his dog? If that's what Master wants, <laughs> do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, by all means. Oh no. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we'd like you to move! Sure thing, just name for me a bag! First of Mega Mask is now a super sadist! <laughs> oh no. Um, Toko, seriously. Um, uh, sorry, yeah, mispronounced that. Um, Toko? Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let me use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! Come on, Makoto, give me the old one-two combo! One, drop to your knees, two, beseech! Why are you acting like you're not part of this? <laughs> I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel, kneel down in front of her, and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let, it, let us use the laptop? <laughs> fucking kidding me? Such an ultra... <laughs> such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent of anger at mass are abusing me is evaporating! So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. Okay, this should be good. Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that run this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I finally, see. the time has come. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. <laughs> I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands started to shake. Move. Second. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So Here we go. Gilka began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? What sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. It was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th that's... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. It was the school itself? That doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? Just a I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It That's seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? What does that mean? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy. It's apparently some sort of devastate yeah, devastating, <laughs> devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. Whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, but. Why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Choco had typed, up, had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so disappointing. Oh wait, and there's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? 
Toka's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading Hope's Peak's staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that, pers uh, so that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? Is he in the school? And that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Uh... I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? The cost. So Kyoko, I... what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? She heard about the headmaster. Her reaction was almost violent. So then, we should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Uh, that seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started tapping again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry, that was everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alterio seems to have more to say. Um, no. well, kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um. I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys this Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um. I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay. It really happened. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it? That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began tapping again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Then, maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kinda tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Well, no. When we talked to our alter ego, I guess, I just I didn't see it that way. I know what you mean, I feel the same way. It's because alter ego is a uh, general artificial intelligence, an actual fucking person. Hey. hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. At the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's yeah, nice. he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think. Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling me a friend, right? After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? Check know. this out! Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So, so anyway... Don't go so anyway that. It's totally smart and cool during that. <laughs> it's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, hey. uh, fuck. Anyway, there's nothing more There's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just and frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who isn't, is, and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, yeah, good idea. Um, what was Hope's Peak staff thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said what happened one year ago was what started everything. Yeah. yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It's been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? 
I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway. That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. Nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. Maybe all the students here were killed or something. That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not t totally impossible. What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be, hand they should be handling stuff like that. Uh, there are a thousand- Mmm, god, I could go into a fucking tangent here. I live in a town where the government could give less of a fuck about the roads, about everything, and are instead more intent on, on embezzlement and all sorts of shit. I have a lot of opinions on this, and I'm not gonna bring any of them up here, because if I do, <laughs> that's not gonna end well. <sighs> Maybe. But right now, there's only one path open to us. We have to find the headmaster of Host Peak Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Yeah, you're right. Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Oh yeah, good idea. Then I... <laughs> is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Fiox is going to be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. <laughs> That's not well. As we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. You're not so mad about the whole breaking of the headmaster room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't doesn't matter even a little. I'm, I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but this is, that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel the building. My head's about to boil over with rage. Angry. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Etch this on the walls of your brain. Okay, when you do something to me, I do it right back! An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang! Fang for a fang? Be careful, he just shouted the incantation of devastation! No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, let's see. What's he talking about? Already? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? It is not as such. It's soon the doors to the dining. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Already? Huh. Correct. So, it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who's just our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still being still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, I agree. It's Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So, everyone headed back to their rooms. Want to come as parting words? I'll be feeling anxious the rest of the night. And so I was back in my room. I got lost in thought. What did we learn from our alter, well, what we learned from our alter ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before, and apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. But still, I have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Hey, hey another episode of Monica Theater. Wonderful. Woo, yeah. Let's talk about a bit about where I was before I became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tax department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger pond like I'd hope, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I run the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp, but I didn't want to become one myself. Well, some, uh, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started having a laugh at me. She was like, you think we could do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret 
origin story of Monokuma. I could care less. I could honestly not care less for shit. Uh, wonderful. Cool, bro. Him. Fucking glorious. My dude, my man, bro. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready. No. God, no. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. I think first things first is take a fucking shower, but okay. Like, seriously, does nobody fucking shower in this? Yeah, we. Morning, Hina. Hey, Mikado. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? You yeah. know, when you saw Alter Ego with your friend. I was thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes, BAM! You bust out your special power! I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always do something about it. Even before yesterday. And talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just... It kind of just took care of itself, you know? It totally didn't. With your power and Sakura's and everyone else's, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. I am right! All right. Now that we got that fighting spirit, let's go get some grub. She's right. Even if the road is long, if we don't keep moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you in the corner, asshole? What do you want? Ah, uh, well, the breast at breakfast meeting. You honestly expect me to go, right? Oh, as long as I'm here. You probably asked Miyake what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I'd better not. The surveillance camera would catch us for sure. So, oh, um, uh, well. Hmm. He's gone. Why are you such a prick? <laughs> Why? What the fuck happened to you that made you become such a fucking douchebag? I just want to know. Hey, what the fuck is Toka doing here? <laughs> As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. What are you staring at? Oh, Toko? What? You think your eyes will rot by looking at me? Fine, don't look at me! I think he's just impressed to see what the breakfast meeting is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us. Um, yeah, what made you change your mind? Miyaki said he likes a girl to have some meat on her on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come back later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Mm. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. You're second. dirty, Makoto. Dirty! President Dirty of Dirtlandia! You don't understand! That's how he takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. <laughs> Just shut up already, Hina! <laughs> You've been running for filthy mouth like that whole morning. Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We can also see how disgusting you are. Shut up. You with that lusty body of yours. Night after night. You go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can do with dirt. I can't do with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight sex extracurricular activities only put us in even more danger. S stop it! You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands grabbing the fat, big, fat, chalked tight. <laughs> oh god, I can't fucking say this shit, man. Oh god, I can't fucking say this. I can't say this. I can't say this is a straight face, but I absolutely can't say this shit on YouTube. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Also, I don't like seeing that look on her face. Oh, no. So, would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's leave Toko alone. She's got a little... funny from all her pent-up frustration. Anyway, you and Toko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. 
I mean, of course, I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about, about, talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. All right, let's talk. <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like you. It's better than having one sue you like I did. You've lived a really, yeah, brutal is one way I'd fucking put it. House burned down, lost his life savings for a fucking rock. Sued. Jesus. Huh? Uh, I feel all dizzy. I seriously can't handle dirty stuff like that. Looks like Kina had an unexpected weakness. Um, Sakura. What is it? Give me some time later. I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah! The Koko's dumped and Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart! Are you in heat, <laughs> Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura! Makoto's transformed into Wild Beast! Prime Minister Wild Beast to be Tobia! Why is this happening to me? Well, Can our talk wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Is that? It must be because of that battle. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein. Is it like your gut or something? Okay. Makoto! I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save us till tomorrow. She's in pain. Y yeah, I got it. Sorry. Well, for now, let's eat. Eat. I'm kind of nervous. Huh? How come? Because I don't usually e eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What about your family? Oh, well, yeah. I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. You had two moms? What? That's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak with that disgusting mouth of yours! Just stop saying stuff like that! Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh, I'll have to come wait until tomorrow. Yeah. Kinda of relieved. It's not a curse to face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. <laughs> okay, so this is not gonna end well for me at all. So, um let's see. Who should I try and fucking talk to now? Oh fucking hell. So, I have no one filled out, basically. Uh only a few people are not fucking, you know, dead. So uh, I guess maybe uh, I can't talk to Sakura. So I guess Aoi, maybe. Is there anyone around here? No. Okay. Nobody around here. Good to know. And Kyoko doesn't even want to talk to me, and I still let her report card anyway, so. Okay, so. Uh, anybody on floor two? I'm still on floor one. I'm an idiot and didn't go up the stairs. Ha 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 ha. Wonderful. Or two. Nobody. Why can't we just navigate by floors in the map instead of doing this all? Nobody. Fucking. Ugh. Floor four. Oh, hey, Yasuhiro. How you doing? Everybody must be up here. Oh, great. There is no way in hell I am speaking with them. Who the 
the fuck is Choco, actually? Oh, there she is. Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. Wow, she is pissed. <sighs> Fun. Hey, oh, yeah, there you are. Pushing on doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Oh, sorry, I'm tapping the metal plates covering all the windows. Ah, I know. Just try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. Yes, spend some time with Ada. You got it. Want to stretch it with me? Yeah, sure. I followed Hina's lead and did some elaborate stretching. He and I, Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yes, definitely. I have a bunch of shit, but I don't know. Ah. Uh. I know she loves donuts, but I don't think I have any actual donut donuts. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. I have no fucking clue. Um, God damn it. Cut here. I will be... Ro I'm, yeah, I I'm, I'm gonna cut right here. I'll be right back after I figure out what the fuck it is I want to give her. Um, shit. God fucking damn it. What the hell am I gonna give her? Uh... I've been here for fucking ever. God damn it, I'm just gonna pick some shit and get it over with. Uh, what have I not used yet? On fucking anyone. Well, the majority of the shit, actually. Uh, I can't think of anything else to. Uh, fuck it, might as well. Uh,. God. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to make fucking decisions. Uh, what? I can give this, right? Right? Yay, ultra stoked! Wait, seriously? What? Wait, oh, that was good? <laughs> what the fuck? I, okay. Oh man, oh man. What's up? I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? How come does it matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I, I don't think this is a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your huh? deal? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy who was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. Hmm. If you used to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you just saw like that and didn't get sick? You Can you take us for the week? If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Actually, I do this myself every morning. You strip, strip down to your waist and take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it, I call it, uh, what do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel against, across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Uh, towel treatment. Is it something like uh, something like towel treatment? Oh my god, yeah, that's it! I love going out, going out of my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. God, I feel so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Wait, so you went down on our balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? You should give it a try. You haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. 
I hate seeing catch cold or something, or something. Yeah, nice. Yay, wonderful. More skill points. If only I had something to fucking use them on. <sighs> wonderful. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Wish I had something to use these fucking skill points on. That'd make a lot of fucking more goddamn sense. Plenty of time. Sitting here. How much time do I have left? Uh, I'll probably spend. I probably spend a good time on that. So, uh, I should have enough to. I don't know, talk to Allie one more time. I guess. Is she, she's still up there. Is there anybody here? No, she's in the dining hall. And she's in the dressing room, so there's no way in hell. Yeah, let's go talk to Owie. Hey, as a hero. Bye, as a hero. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got That's a quote it. from the famous rugby, play, rugby player Yuji Matsua. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Yes, we are spending time with Hina. Yeah. Because I should have done this earlier. Want to go for a run to release some of the stress? Yeah, sure. Hina and I went for a light run through the school. Yeah, I agree a little closer. Uh, yes. Jesus. All right, I made the. I fucking spent way too fucking long on this last time, so I'm just gonna choose some random bullshit. Uh. Jesus, a four of these fuck, fuck it, G sec, because this looks like a cool fucking watch. <laughs> Thoughtful. That's why I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, 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 not that kind of like. <laughs> well, what's up? Something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out of the sun, do some laps, run a marathon, and want to do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm gonna die like a bunny rabbit. But I always hear rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? Hold the fuck up, what? Oh god, ADHD. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to her main sport, ran out of juice. <laughs> swimming. <laughs> you go going home. <laughs> Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. God, I don't even care what stroke it is. I just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? If I can't move, I'll just strip up and die. And I need a challenge. Or more new stuff to try. A challenge? What I really really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. Yeah, same. I, I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazed was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. Um... I cannot fucking speak. What the fuck was that? <sighs> So that's why I wanted to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop. Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. <laughs> That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, but totally. I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe's has said something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses, just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, he had took off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> she recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. <laughs> yeah! Yay, more skill points! Wonderful! I wish I could fucking use them on something. <sighs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Nighttime.
Ugh. Shut up. Oh, oh, what's a new fucking... Oh, god fucking damn it. What the hell does the bear want now? He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. He sounded pretty serious, but blah, blah, blah. What the fuck do you want now, you goddamn unfors... You fucking horrible ass bear. Those are words I never thought I would have to say in my life, but here we are. Uh... Alright, so I think I'm gonna get help get into the um, bit of the gym and then end it because I have no doubt in my mind that this is about to at this is about to do some extremely stupid bullshit, isn't it? Yes, it is. Something tells me that if I go through those fucking doors, some bullshit is about to start, and there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to have enough. I'm gonna have enough time in the episode. Well, okay. Uh. Great. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. How many of this here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah. How many of this here? This has been eventful. <laughs> it's one way to put it, I guess. So yeah. See ya.